Now we start with a follow-up to a story that we brought you earlier this week on Fox 10 News at 9. A mobile man accused of brutally attacking his ex-girlfriend had a hearing today. Chad Malumfi is out on bond and today the victim told the judge that she's concerned about her safety and then she asked that the bond be changed. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers was in the courtroom and brings us this report. 37-year-old Chad Malumfi stood silently in front of Judge Bob Sherling. But on the other side stood his ex-girlfriend, Sonia Waldrop. And she says it took a lot of strength to confront him. It's hard. It makes me sick. Literally sick to my stomach. Investigators say back in January, Malumfi broke into her home and repeatedly stabbed her with a pocket knife. He later turned himself in and he posted bond last week. So today, an assistant DA asked the judge to reconsider the bond or even give Malumfi an electronic monitoring device. We are um, uh, very concerned about the safety of all of our victims and especially domestic violence victims. Since he was released on the 8th, I got a lot of phone calls since, uh, since he had gotten out of jail. Waldrop says in all these calls, the person on the line would hang up and she thinks it was Malumfi. But Waldrop did not have any phone records to prove it, so the judge did not change the conditions of the bond. I'm sick. Um, I wish they would have revoked his bond or done something. At the end of the hearing, the judge looked Malumphy right in the eyes and told him if he gets anywhere near Waldrop, he's going straight to jail. Malumphy had nothing to say to us after the hearing, but his attorney denies the claims. He's at home doing what he's supposed to do. He's not going to jeopardize his liberty by contacting this lady. In the meantime, Waldrop has moved away and is trying to move on with life. I can't just stop. And if I do, he wins. Reporting in Mobile, John Rogers, Fox 10 News. The assistant DA says the case will be presented to a grand jury sometime in the coming months.